All right, Dodge Kemp here, the Hammond Doc, over here with my grandson, Mr. Little Awesome over here. All right, we're working on some uh, Jensen V21 spindles. We have some nice ones already here. They already taken care of, but um, now we've got these little kids from BB Organ, Austin, and so we want to attach them to these spindles here. I'm going to use a little glue, a little E6. Well, I'm not going to use a lot, man. I'm not going to use a lot. Just a little bit of E6000. Yeah, in fact, I'll just do this. Let's put it, well, I'm going to have to put it around out like that. See, it's going to go down out like that. Okay. We're gonna drop that right around there like that. Nice. I'm going to do the same thing with this. See, that's going to go on there like that. What I would do with this, so I don't get the glue on the spindle, mm -hmm. look, is I'm going to go ahead and put some of the E6000 on top of the rubber itself. So I'm just going to put it on the spot. Put it around here. I just put it around in four places. That's uh, six. All right. Put it around like that. And that allows me to slide my spindle on there. Then I can take the other end. Watch what I do. So I take the other end. So I'll push it down there. See that? Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to get a lot of this. I'm not trying to get the glue on my hand and all that kind of stuff. But I want, I want, I want to make sure I, I get it in there. All right, and then I can use the other the other side to clean up the excess glue. I'm not trying to get glue on top of it. Q-tip. So any glue that any glue that you might have gotten on it, I'm gonna wipe that on off. Alright. That's one. I'm going to set that to the side, let that dry, and we do the same thing. We're going to do something called replicate the process. what I call it? Replicate the process. Notice, I like to squeeze from the bottom. 
クイーションとかあるのかなはい、どうするのバーロム、キッター。<laughs> There you go. I don't like get. Yeah, where the mm, pep towel, that glue. I don't like glue getting on my carpet here. It's good. Very good. Now, any, any excess glue, I just scoop it up with this. Let me have a um, tub of towel wipe, please. Tub of towel wipe. Oh, here it is. I forgot, and I and I put some and I put some on the uh, silver part. I shouldn't have done that. That's why I don't like to put it on the silver part. I'd rather put it on the rubber part because I don't want no glue on this. And I put some on the silver part, and when I slip it down there, it got on this. So I don't want I don't want glue on that. Are you watching? Or are you playing with your phone? I see. You. I okay. See but did you hear what I just said? That's why I like to put the glue on the rubber part mm -hmm. and not on the silver spindle part because I put on it and then when I slip it down some might get on this and which a little spot got on there and that's why I have to that's why I'm cleaning it off with this all right now what I'm going to do is That's what I'm doing. So I got two of them that I did. And we're 
we're just going to let them sit up and dry. So if you put those on top of the refrigerator for me. No, sit, set them back further. Yeah, watch what you're doing. And let me have that spindle. Let me have that spindle up there. That rotor. The rotor. The black rotor. Yeah. Thank you. Now, move those back further so that when you open the refrigerator door, those won't fall that you just put up there, okay? Yep, they're good. Okay, they're good? So the door open, they won't fall. Good. All right. So that's why I put things up there so that they'd be out of the way so that when uh, we're working in the shop, we won't touch it, knock it over, break it, or anything while we're trying to work, while those are sealing it. And that's the purpose of putting it out of the way like that. And that's the E6000, and that takes care of that job. And we can put these away. All right, one more thing. Can you give me a large a large bag so I can put these away please. Large Ziploc bag. Thank you. So I'll put the others away. These things are extremely valuable. <laughs> And they, they become even more valuable, almost like when you need one and you can't find it. They are, whew, that is when things get really wild with these. You need one and you cannot find it anywhere. And you're like, can I, anybody have one of these? And you be like, you know, and people are like, nope, I don't have one. I don't have one. I had one one time and only had one, Austin, and... That was a gentleman on the network. He was he was looking for one. He was like, I need one so bad. I got to finish my project. And I can't finish my project without one of these. And I'm like, okay, dude. I don't want to give you, I got V21s in here that need some. And so I can't give you these. But I, I said, but I'm good to go with them right now. I have I have I have as many as I need for the V21s that I have. But if I come across one, I'll uh, I'll sell it to you. And so I made that promise to him. <laughs> and uh, I went up to Wisconsin and and there was that was a man that had some parts. And I said, "Man, you got a V21 upper uh, V21 spindle?" And he said, "Yes." He said, you mean like this? And he showed it to me. I said, yeah, it's like that. And 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 so he let me have that. And I and I wanted to, man, I was uh, I went on down and hooked up with Todd Phelps for breakfast. Was you with me? Did you go with us? Huh? Did you go with us to Wisconsin? Or was it, it was... That wasn't me. I never went to Wisconsin. You didn't go with us? No. And so we ate breakfast with Todd Phil. Oh, Aunt so Arrington was with us. Arrington's with us. And so then we ate breakfast with Todd Phelps. And I said, Todd, yeah, man. I said, I had this. I said, that was a, somebody wanted one of these spindles, man. And I got one. And I, and I told him I'd sell it to him if I found one. And so now I have to keep my word. Todd said, Todd said, yep, those are the kind of things that. As soon as you get rid of it, you will need it. <laughs> and I'm like, I hope not. <laughs> and within a few days, I mean, when I got back, I, I went on ahead with, with my with my deal that I made with the guy and sold him sold him the uh, the, the spindle, and he got it. And he was happy, dude. He was happy. And I was happy to sell it to him. But then right after I sold it to him, I got in a V21 that didn't have one. And I needed the spindle for it. And so what Todd had said to me 
was prophetic. It came to pass. As soon as I got rid of one, here it comes. I needed one. And so after that, I learned. I'm like, okay, here's what I'm going to do. If I find these things, anytime I find, I'm going to get them because I need them. I need them. Because I get V21s in, and sometimes the V21 doesn't have a spindle on it. And, and if it doesn't have a spindle on it, the only way I can use it is I got to have one of these on it. So that's why I was able to collect these. And so I got one, two, three, four. And here's five. I guess a few of them now. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to go ahead and put these in the bag with them. Because this is Doc Kemp. The Hammond Doc. With Hammond Austin. With Hammond Little over here. No, it's Austin Kemp Jr. instead. What? Yeah. I thought you were Hammond Little. No. What? I can be both. You can be both? Yes. Okay. Hammond Jr. Austin, Little Jr. Austin, Hammond Little. We got it. All right. Until the next video, you go ahead and give it to him, Austin. Go ahead, give it to him. Well, give it to him. Peace out.